The Tiberian vocalization, Tiberian pointing, or Tiberian nikad Hebrew, Niakut Tiberiani Nikud Variani is a system of diacritics nikad. It was devised by the Masoretes of Tiberias to add to the consonantal text of the Hebrew Bible to produce the Masoretic text. The system soon became used to vocalize other Hebrew texts, as well. The Tiberian vocalization marks vowels and stress, makes fine distinctions of consonant quality and length, and serves as punctuation. While the Tiberian system was devised for Tiberian Hebrew, it has become the dominant system for vocalizing all forms of Hebrew and has long since eclipsed the Babylonian and Palestinian vocalization systems. Topic: <laughs> Consonant diacritics. Topic: The sin dot distinguishes between the two values of s. A dagesh indicates a consonant as geminate or unsparentized, and a raphi indicates sparentization. The mapic indicates that h is consonantal, not silent, in syllable coda position. <laughs> Vowel diacritics the seven vowel qualities of Tiberian Hebrew are indicated straightforwardly by distinct diacritics. The diacritics cubits and shiruk both represent u, but shiruk is used when the text uses full spelling with w -a -w as a moder lectionize. Each of the vowel phonemes could be allophonically lengthened. Occasionally, the length is marked with methig, then, methig also can indirectly indicate when a following shva is vocal. The ultrashort vowels are slightly more complicated. There were two graphemes corresponding to the vowel a, uh, attested by alternations in manuscripts like Rarik tilde Rarik, Moa tilde Mea. In addition, one of the graphemes could also be silent. SHVA was used both to indicate lack of a vowel quiescent swa, SHVA na, and as another symbol to represent the phoneme a, uh, mobile swa, SHVA na, the latter also represented by hataf pata. The phoneme a uh, had a number of allophones. A uh, had to be written with shva rather than hataf pata when it was not pronounced as a. Uh. Before a laryngeal pharyngeal, mobile swa was pronounced as an ultra short copy of the following vowel wabakea uvik and as i preceding j tedameni theta amajuni. Using hataf vowels was mandatory under gutturals but optional under other letters, and there was considerable variation among manuscripts, that is referenced specifically by medieval grammarians. If one argues that the delet of Mordecai and other letters in other words has had if kames, tell him, but this sign is only a device used by some scribes to warn that the consonants should be pronounced fully, and not slurred over. The names of the vowel diacritics are iconic and show some variation. The names of the vowels are mostly taken from the form and action of the mouth in producing the various sounds, as pada opening, zareya wide parting of the mouth, also seber equals breaking, parting cf, the Arab, kasr, hyrek also hyrek narrow opening, hawolum closing, according to others fullness, i.e. of the mouth also mello pwm fullness of the mouth, kames also denotes a slighter, as srek and kibs also cues pwm a firmer, compression or contraction of the mouth. Segel, segel bunch of grapes takes its name from its form. Susalos nekudwat three points is another name for kibis. Moreover the names were mostly so formed but only later, that the sound of each vowel is heard in the first syllable kames for kombs, pata for peta, zeri for ziri, in order to carry this out consistently some even write sagel, kombs hatuf, kubis. Cantillation <coughs> <coughs> Topic. Cantillation signs mark stress and punctuation. Methig may mark secondary stress, and makif conjoins words into one stress unit, which normally takes only one cantillation mark on the final word in the unit. Topic. See also Topic. Babylonian vocalization Cantillation Cardinal vowels Nikid Palestinian vocalization Tiberian Hebrew Topic References Topic Topic Sources Topic Joshua Blau 2010 Phonology and Morphology of Biblical Hebrew Winona Lake, Indiana, Eisenbrowns.
ISBN 1-57506-129-5. Scenes Badios, Angel A History of the Hebrew Language. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0-521-55634-1. Yivan, Israel Introduction to the Tiberian Masara. Scholars Press. ISBN 0-89130-373-1.